This will be a complete tutorial on how to use MID's API. The first thing you'll need to do is log in. And once logged in, you go to Dashboard, API. Once you see the API dashboard, you'll need to create a new API. So you click on Create New, and you will see this filter. You will need to name your API because you can have multiple APIs if you would like. So we'll call this one Diamonds. Once the name is created, then we will choose an output format. As of now, we've got JSON, XML, and CSV. After setting your output format, the next thing will be to set your actual filter. It's pretty self-explanatory where you can see you have shapes, weight, colors, clarity, lab, location, and all the rest of the certificate or the diamond measurements. If you leave the whole filter blank, you will get, what is important to know is that you can set white diamonds, fancy color diamonds, or both. If you select both, then you'll have your D through M in the white, your N through the wide range of colors, and your intensities. Once again, if you leave them all open, you'll receive the whole feed. Now, as for treatments, if you do not select anything, you will receive the whole. But if you would like only the untreated stones, then you must click on the NA. And now you will receive only the untreated stones. Now that we've completed the filter, you can scroll down a little bit and you'll see the filter criteria, which give you a summary. In other words, if I would have picked round and princess, cushions and radiance, you can see over here in the shapes, those are the results that you've chosen. Once again, if we choose them all, then you will be receiving the whole inventory. Now it's time to start building the actual feed. Over here on the right, you've got all your fields. And on the left is your selected fields. Any uh, field that you do touch, there is a tool tip that will explain more or less what that field does. Let's start with basic diamond information, which would be the stock reference name, the location. Then we can get some uh, diamond uh, descriptions, which would be shape, weight, color, clarity, and lab. Um, then we can add measurements, depth table, so on and so forth. Never forget to put in prices, so you can put in your price per carat your total price. Not everyone wants the discount from wrap, but it is available. Once you've set your fields, they are fully customizable, meaning you could rename each header. Uh, for instance, this could be parcel name. And this could be The tooltips will follow you through. So once you put them in, as you see, vendor stock reference number, diamond physical location. So pretty much self-explanatory. You have a general field that you could name and neither leave empty or put in any value that is specific for your feed. So for instance, if you needed vendor name, because you have multiple vendors, supplying the feed, and then you put in MID. So now the last column in your feed will read vendor name, and MID will be repetitive on every single line. Another nice feature is that you could um, rearrange your feed or rearrange your columns by clicking the arrows up and down. There's another quick feature that you can use you could add and remove complete sets. So if you click minus and plus, you can add the shape, weight, color, clarity, and lab all in one shot. Now we'll get into the color field explanation. Let's uh, remove everything here. 
let's pick the color fields. You've got color, colorful name, and then you've got fancy colorful name. And then you've got fancy intensity, fancy overtone, and fancy color. Color will give you D through Z, and all the fancy colors will come out null. Color full name will give you D through Z and the full fancy color name. For example, fancy bluish greenish red. Fancy color full name will do the opposite of color and give you the full fancy color name and D through Z will stay null. Then fancy color intensity, overtone, and fancy color color are pretty much self-explanatory. Now that we've uh, finalized our filter criteria and our fields, the final step is to actually save. And once you click save, you will receive a link. This link is permanent for this specific API. Even if you need to edit your API, this link will stay constant. So if we click on edit and add, press save, and then link, it's the exact link even though we've edited this API. If you've created multiple APIs and you need to get rid of a couple, you can always hit the X and that will remove a specific API. Leaving them here for history doesn't affect the system at all as long as you keep the correct link in your system. Don't forget you can always reach out to us at webmaster at MIDDiamonds.com. We're always available for support. You can call any one of our offices and they will be glad to help you. Thank you for watching this brief tutorial and have a great day.